Hey. What's up guys? What's up, what's up guys? What the hell am I, California YouTuber? What's up everybody? Today we're filming a video that is not scripted. Because none of my videos are scripted. However, this one isn't like planned beyond literally setting up the camera. It's cloudy out today, so the sun is coming out. It's going back in. So I might have to mess with like the, like the, that thing. Now before we start this video, I want to give a disclaimer. Oh, there's the sun. See, see how overblown I am? Oh my God. Everything I'm about to say is from my experience only. I'm not speaking for everybody with anxiety. I'm not saying that's how it definitely is. I'm just speaking how it is for me. Not planned, not planned. What do we, how do, how do we start a non-planned video? You know what I mean? Today I wanted to talk about anxiety. I went on my Instagram and I said, hey guys, I'm gonna do a video on anxiety. Share any questions you might have and I'll answer them right now. If you guys are not interested in this, no worries, this isn't like a typical Danocracy video. I do think it'll be informative for you guys and you'll also get to know me a little bit better. So I encourage you to stick around and watch, but I would be surprised if this video got more than 10,000 views, to be honest with you. But that's okay. I'm not doing this video for views. I'm doing this video to enlighten you guys. Okay, let's get to it guys. I'm just rambling now. A lot of you guys are just like, what is it? I think anxiety affects a lot of people, but it also doesn't affect a lot of people. It's these like episodic moments of like panic and fear and worry over irrational stuff. Let me give you an example. If I'm hosting something, before I get out on stage or the red carpet, I will have a part of my brain that'll start poking me. It'll be like, Dan, 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 yo, yo, Dan, Dan, Dan. It's me, the brain. How f up would it be if you threw up everywhere on the red carpet? Or, yo, you didn't eat today. What if you pass out? Yeah, yeah, oh, you feel that? You're kind of lightheaded now. What if you pass out? And then from there, your brain kind of spirals out of control unless you catch it. That's the best way I can describe my type of anxiety. It is, it is worry over irrational things. How do you know if you have anxiety? I grew up my entire life assuming that I was a worry ward. When I got to college, everything kind of came to a boiling point where I couldn't handle it anymore. I started to get emotional for no reason. I didn't know what was going on. My worrying took a whole nother level of worry. So I saw a doctor and the doctor was like, what's wrong, Dan? I said, doc, if I knew I wouldn't be here. Like, look at this, now it's too dark, where? Ugh. Man, this is why I can't film on sunny, cloudy days. So I saw the doctor. The doctor suggested I go see a therapist. In college, I'm like, a therapist? What, me, a therapist? I feel like that's for like 45 year olds that are like down on life. I felt crazy. I felt like I was losing my mind. So I said, okay, whatever. I need this feeling of worrying about everything in my life to stop. Let's go see this therapist. Guys, it's like I'm filming on a different day now. This is like so I went and saw this therapist. I was nervous, I was worried, of course worried. <laughs> oh, here comes the sun. And they had told me a bit about anxiety. And I was kind of like, oh, damn. This whole time, my entire life, I categorized it as just being a worry ward. But now there's an actual term for it, anxiety. Weird, because people will often say, oh, you know, I got a test coming up, I got anxiety. I think one of the most frustrating things for me about anxiety is people's usage of the word. There's anxiety, and then there's nervousness. Yes, they are very similar feelings, except anxiety carries a lot more than just nervousness. When someone says, I have anxiety for a test, fair, you can actually have anxiety for a test. But when it's under the context of just being nervous, and they're trying to use the word nervous in a different way to sound smarter, it annoys me because people that really live with anxiety, it's so much more than that. It's so much more than, what if I fail? You know, it's more of like, if I fail, I'll never be able to get a job, no one will hire me, then I'll have to live under a bridge. Like it's literally that irrational and intense. Does it go away or can it be cured? My personal belief system is it cannot be cured, but yes, it can go away. Does it go away? I, I think you can get a really good grasp on it with techniques that it almost goes away. Or if it doesn't go away, you learn to really live with it. But I don't think you can cure it. I don't think it can just disappear forever. How do you cope with it when you're very busy? So you have projects, family stuff, school, relationships. It's important that you check in with yourself and constantly make time for yourself. I look at some of my old YouTube videos where I wasn't okay. I was going through something, I was anxious, I was down. It's so apparent to me, once you guys know who I am, it's so apparent to me in these videos that I'm feeling that way. If there's one thing about me, I've got a very tough time hiding my feelings. Perfect example, and I'm gonna expose myself here. Go on my Instagram right now, look at my recent photos versus maybe three finger swipes down. I've got a bunch of artwork that is deep, emotional, very few pictures of me, Just it's just my artwork. It's so obvious that if you look at that, that I was going through something at that time. I'm not ashamed by it, I'm not embarrassed by it at any means, but that's how I deal with it. I cannot 
put on a fake smile and a lot of people can and that's a skill to have. A lot of these questions here are asking will anxiety ever go away? My personal beliefs is anxiety doesn't go anywhere. I think it's ingrained in you, I think it's a part of your personality. I do think you were born with it. So to be blunt with that answer, no, I don't think it goes anywhere. The positive side now, I look at my relationship with my anxiety or the anxious side of me and I'm so amazed at how far I've come in the the past four years. If you try to understand where the anxiety comes from, what triggers it? Why am I feeling like this right now? And then look at the outside things. What's my environment like right now? Am I traveling? Traveling is often a trigger for anxiety, for me at least. Because it's a different environment. You don't know what's gonna happen. Try to look at your life and figure out what is different. Because change is oftentimes the catalyst for anxiety. So try to find change, whether it's big or small. Because oftentimes anxiety starts from a small bit of change that you don't look at because you're like, that's so small, why would that affect me? But it does, it does. Anxiety doesn't discriminate about big change or small change. It's all the same. Another thing that helps anxiety is, and this is what I've learned recently, is picture just ripping out the anxious side of you. Okay, it's, it's you, but you're ripping out like a ghost version of you that is anxiety and sit it beside you. That is anxiety, this is you. This lives inside of you and try to keep it separate. Literally the last year, my relationship with anxiety goes like this. This character's name is anxiety. So I go, okay anxiety, thanks for that, I appreciate it. Uh, yes, you're right, I didn't eat lunch, but I'm fine. I appreciate the concern. You have to visualize that anxiety, the character that is inside of you, okay, is a, is a overly cautious friend or a helicopter parent, someone that is trying to protect you with everything. And if you could sit there and understand that and be like, okay, I understand you're trying to protect me. I understand you're trying to find out everything that could happen to me, but you know, I don't need it. Thank you, but I don't need it. If you're constantly trying to fight it and be like, no, screw you, that's not gonna happen. It'll, it'll only get louder. If I go out to host an event, I guarantee my anxiety or anxiety will tell me, hey Dan, 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 what if your zipper's undone? I go, thanks anxiety, what I'm gonna do before I get out there is I'm just gonna check. And you know, if it's down, that's fine. The whole audience will know I'm huge. <laughs> anxiety will often tell me, Dan, you know, what if you throw up on some, for some reason, okay? I've got this f***ing fear of vomiting or throwing up in public. I don't know why, it's just, it's one of my things. It'll tell me, Dan, you know, what if you throw up on stage? Everyone's gonna have their phone cameras out. It's gonna be so embarrassing. You're forever gonna be known as the vomit guy. Thanks, anxiety, appreciate it. But you know what? I'm feeling fine. I don't actually feel that. I'm prepared for this. I feel fine. And you know what? I also brought some gravel for my back pocket just to kind of fix that. So appreciate the concern. It's not gonna happen though. That's really what's changed a lot for me in the past year. The relationship I have with my anxiety is now a physical one. It's two different people. Before I thought it was me fighting me, which is a friend. It's a sweet friend that is very concerned for you. That's the that's how I view it. They live inside of me and they're just overly cautious. They want to do everything they can to protect me. And unfortunately, if you live by that, you'll miss out on a lot of great experiences. So it's my job to say, you know what, man? You're right. That could happen and that would be awful. But you know what, I'm gonna risk it anyway. I've taken all these steps to avoid it. If it happens, it happens, but thank you. I appreciate it, thank you. My anxiety really keeps my moral compass aligned and, and I'm super happy for that. Basically what I'm trying to say is my anxiety keeps me out of trouble because it, it fuels so much fear inside of me of getting into some specific version of trouble. I think anxiety's given me the gift of empathy and emotion and feelings. I'm an emotional guy. Anxiety definitely helps me with that. I feel sad when I'm sad and I feel happy when I'm happy. It's given me a really good emotional thermometer with people. How do you deal with people who don't understand it? I'm not gonna go out in the world and expect everybody to accommodate something that is inside of me that they don't even see. Anxiety a lot of the time is invisible. So it's not fair for me to go and criticize everyone. Oh, you know, you don't understand me and this, that doesn't help anybody. I think arrogance or being naive comes from being uneducated on the topic. So when somebody says, snap out of it, it's not that bad, what are you upset for, what, what, your life is great, that's them being naive or that's them just being uneducated as to what the feeling is for me. So it doesn't make sense for me to attack them because they don't know. Can you deal with anxiety without doctors or therapy? Yeah, of course you can. My personal belief is it is a lot harder. Why deal with myself when I can have like someone help me with it? You know, not everybody can afford therapy, that's another thing. There's a ton of YouTube videos out there that help you. Just be cautious, okay? When you go to YouTube for advice on medical or mental support, you, a lot of the times it's not coming from an expert. I'm not an expert. Everything I'm saying here is not expert advice. Look at where it's coming from. A lot of the time it's just personal experience. It's not an expert, especially if they give you negative stuff. No, anxiety is the word. You'll never be cured from it. Only 6% of people. 
forget that man don't listen to the negative stuff especially if it's not coming from a doctor there's a lot of jaded people out there that are pissed off that they have to live with anxiety so they try to vilify it so that anybody else out there it's like them they're, they're very angry with their relationship with anxiety so just be careful of that okay anyways guys that is just a hangout session with anxiety um, if you guys have any other questions feel free to tweet me or comment on my Instagram whatever you guys have if you guys are going through anxiety or a tough time keep fighting the good fight guys if you're in an anxiety attack right now there's life beyond that believe it or not there's happiness a lot of happiness beyond what you're feeling right now don't be convinced by the character of anxiety. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.